Hi, this is Cameron with the Burnside team, Keller Williams Real Estate. On today's call, we're going to talk about what to do if you are doing a contingent sale. That just means you are wanting to buy another house, but in order to buy that house, you either have to sell the house you're currently in, or you just really want to, just so you don't have two mortgage payments. Some people can't qualify unless they sell the house they're in currently, or they just really would feel more comfortable if they had an offer and we're gonna be able to close on that one before they purchase the next one. So that's what a contingent sale is. Now, for a lot of sellers, that's not looked as ideal because there are more things that can now go wrong. So if I'm going to buy your house, you may look at that and say, yeah, but I really would rather you have you close on that house first just to make sure that you don't have to worry about inspections or appraisals or financing or that house falling through, which makes sense. So what we want to talk a little bit about today is how can you make your offer more appealing if you do want to or have to sell your house in order to buy the next house. So we'll talk about three things. The first one is I would say just realize that it's not ideal for that seller. They would, in most cases, sellers would rather have a, an offer that's not contingent. So with that in mind, you don't want to go into this with the idea of I'm just going to get this incredible, amazing deal. In some scenarios you are, but, but in most of the cases you're not. So I'd recommend you try to be very competitive. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do that as far as being competitive and still have a house to sell. First one is I would recommend you do a quick close. Talk with your loan officer and say, hey look, as soon as we get my house under contract and we get it closed, how quickly can we close on the next one? Can we get my loan approved? Can we do everything we need to do so maybe we have a two week close? So that at least shortens the timeline and makes the next, you know, the seller that you're purchasing from a little more comfortable. It's going to be a faster time period. The other thing is that you can do is you can shorten your window of inspections. A lot of times when a buyer makes an offer on a house, they're giving themselves a couple of weeks to go through, check everything out, make sure everything's okay. But in these scenarios, you could suggest, hey, I'll do an inspection a couple of days after I go under contract and I'll have some earnest money go non-refundable after that time period. So that at least makes the seller a little more comfortable because he or she is going to say, well, they may need to sell another house, but at least they've got a lot of things taken care of on this end. So that's that's suggestion or recommendation number one. The second thing I'd recommend is that also to make your offer more interesting, you can make it more competitive dollars and cents wise. And that either means you can offer them a little bit more than what they're asking, or if you're trying to keep that mortgage payment as low as possible, you could put a stipulation in there or a recommendation that you're going to pay for some of the seller's closing costs. You could even increase the amount of earnest money that you're putting down. Just doing some of these things financially that make the seller say, wow, I'm, I'm interested. I'd like to maybe go with this offer. Maybe I'm going to get what I'm asking for and I haven't been able to do that. Or in a competitive market, maybe I'll get a little bit more or they're going to put a lot of earnest money down. There's different ways that you can do that. Um, and then the last thing, of course, and this is very biased, but use a real estate agent. There are so many nuances to selling a house in order to buy another house. There are certain contingencies to put in place. There are certain things you have to be aware of that protect your earnest money and really put yourself in a good light with the seller. I've had several situations, one just recently, where my buyer had to sell his house in order to purchase another property and we were involved in multiple offer situations and we still beat out other buyers even though we had to sell a house and it all came down to how it was presented to the seller, the terms that were offered, having good relationships with the agent. So please don't try to do this on your own. This is a very complicated, but a very doable scenario that you can do in order to make that move happen. So if you're thinking of buying a house, but you need to sell your house, or if you know of someone else, give me a call. I'll get into more detail and walk through some of those nuances to make that a reality. Have an awesome day and look forward to talking to you soon.